I just made a video about, well, you'll see that video coming up, but I said you need to tie a trucker's hitch about four million times in a video, and somebody's gonna say we don't have to tie a trucker's hitch. So I thought, well, I'm gonna do a video again on a trucker's hitch so you know how to tie it, and then the next video will make more sense. All right, trucker's hitch, on to it, simple, easy. I'm gonna show you how we tie it here at the Appalachian Bushman School, just the tips and tricks. It's gonna make your brain work a little bit better and you're gonna always remember it. Okay, so I have my ridge line. It is already tied to the other tree. I really don't care at this point how you do that. This is more about this part of the tree right now. So I'm gonna tell you some things. Some of them might seem like, oh, I'm gonna skip that step. If you don't know how to tie this, follow these steps because it's gonna just get ingrained in that head of yours and it's gonna make it that much easier. Even though it seems like uh, it's a couple extra seconds, well worth the time, trust me. Everybody that comes to the school here is like, yeah, that's it. Okay, on to it. All right, after that ran, so we got our line. We're gonna walk around the tree that we wanna tie it off to. So I'm literally gonna come around the tree. Now, why that's important is because as we go through this knot itself, if you don't do this or you tie it the wrong way, it's gonna bind on itself and it's an absolute nightmare. So walk around the tree so you're in the right position to tie this knot. Now that we are around the tree, this is gonna be very specific to right-handed people. Your right hand should be facing where the rope came from. So the tree it's tied off to, that's where your right hand should be facing. If you would go this other direction, and your left hand is facing the tree in which it's tied off to, you're going to tie it backwards. So that is very important that when you do this, you walk around the tree back to where you were coming and your right hand is facing that tree. It's gonna make a world of difference. So I have all the remaining line in my left hand and I'm holding on to the ridge line that's strung between the two trees with my right hand. Okay, so we don't have a shelter set up, so we're going to be uncomfortable. So if I turn my hand this way, I am comfortable. If I turn it this way, I'm comfortable. If I turn it this way, I am not comfortable. So again, I'm holding all my line. This is my hand on the ridge line. This is comfortable. That's comfortable. This is uncomfortable. That's how you're going to grab the ridge line to begin. Now, while we are uncomfortable, it's very important to understand we're only grabbing with our four fingers. We do not want to incorporate our thumb. No thumbs up because we don't have a shelter and we're uncomfortable because we don't have a shelter. Four fingers grab the line, okay? And then make yourself comfortable. You're setting up a shelter. So if to make comfortable, I turn this way. Thumbs up, I have a shelter at least started. Now, once I do that, what's gonna happen is if I open up my hand and turn this to the camera, you're gonna see this line right here coming across my fingers. There's a small gap, okay? So, with that, I can now take my thumb and stick it through that loop. That's gonna tremendously help you. So I stick my thumb through the loop and there's only one place to grab and that's this line right here that's right in front of me. There's no way to go back here and grab. I'm staying comfortable. I'm grabbing this line and I'm pulling it to the tree that we're now tying off to, which is that way. And what that does is it gives us our loop and our trucker's hitch. I could pull on this loop and it is not going to tighten down on me. Likewise though, if I pull the wrong direction, you can see that loop's tightening down on my finger, so we don't want that. So you always want to check the tree you're tying off to. Give it a tug, that loop should not slide. Okay, so to recap that a little bit, I have all my line in this hand. We're looped around this tree. And right now I want to get uncomfortable because I don't have a shelter, and then I'm going to get comfortable. So as I get comfortable, thumbs up, this is awesome. I'm going to stick my thumb through that loop and grab whatever I can, which is the line here and I'm gonna pull it to where we're tying off. That's gonna give me a loop. And this loop is now going to accept the line that is around the tree. So we're gonna put all that line that was in our other hand through our loop. And now what we did was we created a tensioning knot. So as I pull this extra line, it is tightening up our ridge line utilizing this loop. 
Okay, so at this point now we have our tensioning loop and then this line that is at the bottom of the screen is all the extra line left. So when I pull this tight, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the end of my loop where this line comes through and I'm gonna just hold my fingers on there. That's gonna keep that in place. I'm gonna take all this extra line and throw it over everything, okay? I'm gonna pull it back a little bit and what that's gonna create okay is what looks like a number four right here okay so if i would make this nice and sharp we have the number four coming up and out okay so now we're going to reach inside that figure four and we're going to grab the line that we threw over and get a death grip on this absolute death grip and then pull it towards our loop and that is going to put your loop in place and that's what's going to lock your ridge line into place this loop and then to get this out is very easily, we grab that long tag end, we pull out our loop, and that is going to loosen up our tensioning knot. So we'd have to feed all of that out. And once we feed all that out, we're left with just our loop, and then we can grab both lines, and that loop just really quickly pops right out, and we're back to our normal line. So again, slow. if you never tied this knot, slow it down, even write down some of the instructions I gave you and walk yourself through it, you're going to, I'm sure, get it. You might have to just go through it a couple times and practice. Most people take a few times and once you get it, you got it. Just remember those steps. You're gonna walk around the tree. Your right hand should always be facing the tree that you originally tied off to. You're gonna make yourself uncomfortable. Use four fingers, grab the line, make yourself comfortable. Yeah, I'm setting up a shelter. Open up your hand, slide your finger through that loop and grab whatever's there and pull it to the tree that you're tying off to. That's gonna give you a perfect loop every single time. And from that point forward then, take the tag end, that long end of rope that is left, put it through the loop and pull that as a tensioning loop back towards the second tree that we looped around. Once it's nice and tight, pinch the top of that loop where the other line runs through and hold it in place. Throw all that other line over create that number four, reach through the four, grab a death grip on that line and pull it. If you don't grab a death grip on that line when you pull it and you pull a line through, you're gonna create a knot inside that's hard to get out. So make sure you create a death grip on that. And when you pull that, you're creating a second loop and it's gonna lock it in place. So honestly, I hope that helped everybody. That is a very important knot if you're an outdoorsman to understand and know how to do. You're gonna use it all the time once you get it dialed in. So definitely work with that. So this was Dan Wolwak with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com and stay tuned for the next video coming up very shortly that I'm gonna just say truckers hitch, truckers hitch, truckers hitch. Now at least you know what's going on. Yeah!